Man, LeBron James finally speak up of the criticism that his son, Bronny James, is getting after his embarrassing performance in the Summer League games, ladies and gentlemen. When Bronny James posted a four-point game, two for nine from the field, shot 20% from the field, shot 0% from the three-point line, and 0% from the free throw line as well, right? Bronny James was terrible in his first game in the Summer League, ladies and gentlemen, right? And he was not good. And this is the same guy who his father and LeBron James, who put the pressure in the expectation on his son, Bronny James, ladies and gentlemen. Do y'all remember when LeBron James sat there and said that Bronny James is better than some of the cats that he'd been watching on lead pass in the NBA, trying to sit there and initiate that LeBron, that Bronny James is better than some of the NBA players. When he sat there and said that Bronny James can pass better than some of these cats in the league, and that Bronny James is a starting point guard caliber player, in the league, right, when he's putting up a whopping four points per game in college. LeBron James put those expectations out on his son, right? And now he's trying to play victim because now everybody is crucifying his son and holding him to the expectation that you put on him, Mr. LeBron James. We been knew that the man was not good, but you sat there and overhyped your son. You sat there and told the Los Angeles Lakers to waste a second round pick, right, at the 55 overall, right, when his own teammate was that guy Ellis was out playing Bronny James right and he's performing better than the Bronny James in the summer league games as well right you told the Los Angeles Lakers to go pick him up you use your nepotism right to get Bronny James on the Los Angeles Lakers when he does not deserve to play in the NBA ladies and gentlemen right so when we hold Bronny James to the standard that you put him uh LeBron James don't play victim right don't play victim at the end of the day chat Bronny James is not a good basketball player. He can't play through the gaps. Uh, only can go um, right. He can't go left whatsoever, right? Um, he can't uh, self-create, right? His jump shooting is terrible whatsoever. He doesn't provide any spacing whatsoever. Inconsistent finisher. On top of that, he's undersized for his position as well. And his off-ball defense and his on-ball defense is not a refined enough at an NBA level, right? So when you look at the flaws of Bronny James, we know that this guy – just got spoon-fed the opportunity to be in the NBA because his father is LeBron James, and he plays for the Los Angeles Lakers, ladies and gentlemen, right? So that's where all the smoke is coming towards Bronny Way because your father put the expectation onto you, Mr. Bronny James, that you can play at an adequate enough level, that you can be a starting point guard in the NBA, that you is better than some of these players in the NBA when that is not the case at all, ladies and gentlemen, right? And these bronze sexuals thinking that, oh, Mookie, Bronny James can come in the NBA. He can still cook. He's just young. It's just, and now they're sending death threats to other people as well because they're speaking the facts of Bronny. It's crazy. But the moral of the story of this video, ladies and gentlemen, is that LeBron James basically came out there and responded to the criticism that's headed his son, Bronny James' way. Y'all take a listen. Between the lines, to yeah. some extent, basketball is going to take care of itself. Yeah, for, for sure. Bronny. But outside of those lines, he's starting to have some of the same arrows slung at him that you had when you were a teenager. Mm -hmm. What's going to take for him to withstand that? Um, I don't know if people really understand Bronny. He doesn't care. I actually cared a little bit when I came in. I wanted people to like, like me and yeah. some of the things that people were saying about me. It kind of bothered me early on in my career. I let it get to me. Bronny doesn't, he doesn't give a f He doesn't. He, Bronny plays, he works his tail off. When he's done, he goes home and plays his video game. He does not care about nobody. He's, he doesn't even listen to that stuff. He's like the complete opposite of his dad. <laughs> his dad will say something. Yeah. Bronny does not care. Like me personally, when I was coming up, I had no choice. Mm -hmm. I literally had no choice. I had to make it out. Like I had no choice. I had to make it out for me. My mom, my family. Bronny has all the choices in the world. So it's like a whole nother. People don't understand how hard that is. LeBron, of course Bronny James doesn't care about the criticism and the hecklers out there because he's a millionaire. He was born rich. Bronny ha ain't had to work for anything. He ain't had to work on his skill. He ain't had to get in the grind, right? He barely played, right? He had not had to work for nothing. He was given the opportunity to play in the NBA. He was spoon-fed 
this opportunity to play in the NBA, ladies and gentlemen, right? So, of course, I don't care because I know that if this NBA doesn't work out, I'm going to still be rich. I'm going to still be wealthy. I'm going to still have gaming contract as well. And I'm still going to have a lot of money income, right? The thing is, is that you, Mr. LeBron James, right, didn't have the way that Bronny had it. You had to work to get where you at. Hard work, determination, that's what it took for you, Mr. LeBron James, not for Bronny. So you sitting there saying that uh, Bronny doesn't care about the criticism, he doesn't care what the heckler is sitting there saying, of course, because he's he knows that he was gifted this opportunity. He knows that LeBron James lose his uh, power within that organization to get Bronny on that roster as well when he doesn't deserve the roster spot whatsoever, right? He used all of that, all his power to get Bronny James into the Lakers organization, bro. So, of course, he doesn't care, bro. Of course, he doesn't. At the end of the day, Bronny is just not good whatsoever, bro. He's not a good basketball player. He's not good. And the fact that the loss in this Lakers literally sacrificed everything to give for LeBron James and make him happy and get, you know, Bronny James onto the roster, or if he doesn't, he's going to lead the organization. It's just crazy to me, bro. Like, this right here is embarrassing. It is embarrassing, chat, right? The fact that Bronny James is going to humiliate his father and he's still going to get criticism because this is his father's dream. LeBron James wanted Bronny to go up into the NBA. LeBron James didn't want Bronny to play another year in college. LeBron James wanted to be the first NBA player, right, to play with his son. Right, because he has a big ego. This is LeBron James' dream. This is not Bronny's dream. Because at the end of the day, Bronny was offered contracts from a gaming company before the NBA, before this basketball thing was a thing. So at the end of the day, it sucks that Bronny James, right, can't really fulfill his real passion and doing something else because he knows that this NBA thing is not his dream and that this is his father's dream. And now he's getting exposed on how bad he is as a player. He's getting exposed how bad he is as a jump shooter, how bad he is as a skilled player as well, right? And the Lakers gave this man a fully guaranteed contract. It's crazy when they could have got so much other things, bro. Bronny James is taking food out of other people's mouth. Out of other people's plate, bro. He is taking food out of their plate, bro, right? Because there's other opportunities that player should have get, bro. There's other players that are better than Bronny that should have been drafted by the Los Angeles Lakers. But since his dad is LeBron and his dad is the face of the Los Angeles Lakers, he's going to manipulate his way to get there. This is crazy. This is insane, bro. And we got former NBA players, former athletes that hit me up and sat there and said, Mookie, you're right. Bronny James is not that good, bro. You're right. And the way that the lead is basically just ignoring the fact that he's not that good. And you got ESPN literally making up stats, talking about uh two assists and two steals and something like that, and making it seem like his stat line was really that good when it really wasn't not. It's just crazy to me, bro.